hello everyone welcome to the weed series in the laravel so today video is about how you can install the bootstrap using weed so i'm going to install this weed and you are familiar uh, if you are not familiar with the weed so basically weed is a asset bundler for the laravel 9 which is added in the laravel 9 and uh, it's, it's uh, it will compile your files uh, too much faster than webpack so it's basically replaced with the webpack okay so i have already shooted two videos on it the what is uh, wheat and uh, how to install this into the bootstrap with uh, admin dashboard like uh, i install this using composer ui which is a uh, which is a starter kit for the laravel to if you want to start with the bootstrap so you can install this you can watch this uh, video but if you don't want to install the laravel ui package and you want to install the bootstrap only so how you can do this in your project so let's get started so here i have created this fresh installation of the laravel install bootstrap in laravel with wait okay i have installed this project and then i switch to this project and now what's next so here i came with this blog and this blog is written by techblogs.com it's written very well and i appreciate uh, I uh, appreciate uh, them, that, them that they are writing very well blogs and I'm impressed. So thank you so much tech vlogs. Okay. And next uh, here first you need to install the project. Okay. You can install it uh, using composer or you can install it globally. Okay. And then you need to install this Laravel GUI package but we are not going to build the admin dashboard. So that's why I'm skipping this step. And next step you need to scaffold your bootstrap. Right, so in our case, I'm not going to add this uh, like this auth flag. I'm just doing this PHP artisan UI bootstrap. So now let's go here and install this uh, PHP artisan UI bootstrap. Okay, and hit enter. I think uh, I need to. Okay, UI is not defined because we need to first install the Laravel UI okay so let me install this composer require laravel oops laravel ui okay i'm installing this for installing the bootstrap right i'm not going to add this auth flag that's why i am installing this without this auth flag so now i don't want to uh, create the admin dashboard register and login page Okay, it's generating the file and after this I'm going to type PHP artisan UI bootstrap okay our Laravel UI package is installed successfully so here we enter this command and now what's next we need to enter this PHP artisan UI bootstrap so let's enter this PHP artisan UI bootstrap and hit enter so basically it's going to scaffold our uh, files okay and then it says that you need to run npm run install so first to uh, npm install not run npm install so first we need to install the npm into our project because we want to uh, add the node modules into our project and then we are going to run the npm run dev so why we are going to run this npm run dev because we are going to compile our file so uh, first implement this what's next so next we need to go to our config file and we need to update this thing so let's uh, go to this uh, v.config.js so whenever you are uh, installing the project for the bootstrap uh, for the whenever you are installing the wheat in the bootstrap you need to this webpack is also there so it's also used for compilation uh, not compilation it's basically going to i think it's going to execute this for scaffold but you don't need to interact with this file right so let's uh, close this out and go to this v.config.js so by default it's look like this so here you need to add your bootstrap stuff so you need to import the bootstrap so here let's go here and i'm going to add uh, this aliases here in the after this plugin okay after this plugin i'm going to add this uh, here save this out and then this path uh, we need to add this path at the top so it's added here so we need to add this out uh, if you did not added the not added this at the top so it's going to throw an error that to this path is not defined okay save this one 
and now let's come back and here one more thing we need to update the bootstrap.js file because this bootstrap.js file is a little bit changed in the v.js so now let's go to this resources directory and in the resources there is a js directory and there is a bootstrap.js directory okay so here you need to remove everything okay because it's a little bit changed so it's loading the blue dash so let's uh, remove this stuff and paste this out so now it's a little bit changed save this one and go here and check that if you have any other steps uh, let's go to the app.js and import this uh, okay we need to go to the app.js this is already added at the top and we need to add this uh, here so let's uh, go go to the app.js and then this JS we need to add uh, this line right so basically we are referencing this we are going back one step back and here we are searching this says okay and this says contain the contain this app dot says so that's why we are importing this says okay save this one and now let's go here and then we need to call in the previous version laravel mix we are calling this uh, mix or here we are calling the acid method and we are importing in the css at the top and js in the bottom but laravel mix provide us a functionality you can add this like uh, using this wheat play blade bright uh, blade directive okay let's uh, i'm going to implement this into the views so let's go to the views welcome views so i'm going to implement this out because uh, it's a simpler one and uh, i don't want to make this complex for you i'm doing this for a simpler one because people will understand it properly okay so here you need to call your weed configuration so if you want to load your css and js file so you need to do here like uh, uh, resources like css because we are referencing uh, uh, these uh, this css app dot css css and then this css okay and if you want to add them twice at once using array sample so you can add this like this oops not this like this so let me cut this out here cut this out and add this like this so now it will load the app.cs and js so you can also add this uh, js at the top by using this blade directive separately okay so how you can do this so let me uh, cut this out from there uh, first I need to reload this with this one and then I will show you that how you can do this separately Okay, so th that's why I, I mostly prefer to uh, Shoot everything in the project Because I don't want to confuse you uh, If you don't know ev uh, if you know any uh, If I know anything I will explain everything to you that you can understand it properly Okay, so here I'm going to here this I am welcome blade okay save this one and now let's uh, here this one is installed and we need to run this npm run and here you need to type dev so basically dev is used for development purposes when you are development so you don't need to turn this off because it's uh, looking the changes into your config file and whenever you are saving into your blade file or your config file so it's loading your web browser automatically so you don't need to refresh your web browser okay so this is running here so like is uh, it's similar like npm run why so it is um, which is looking for the changes in our project and whenever we ch made any changes uh, change into any of the files we press ctrl plus s and it instantly reload our web browser that is similar like this so now i'm going to go to my project here install bootstrap and then view and here I'm going, I'm going to open a new terminal basically i'm going to run the php artisan serve for opening my application welcome page okay let me uh, type the command php artisan serve so let's wait for a moment to complete this and yes hit enter okay and now i'm going to open this out localhost to 8000 okay wait for a moment to uh, serve this out okay not found why my pc is taking too much time and yes server is started so let's reload this out
okay okay and yes it's loading the laravel and uh, here okay it's uh, opening our application i am welcome welcome blade and how i'm sure that it's running the wheat so now let's uh, press ctrl plus u or uh, click on the right uh, mouse button and click on this view page source so basically it's going to open your code into the new tab and here you can verify that it's running through this wheat right wheat client and it's adding this like this resources app dot css so it means that we confirm that it's running through this wheat configuration so now question comes that uh, is it uh, loading the bootstrap yes it's loading and how we can verify this so let's go to the project let me close this env file and here i'm going to add this into the paragraph okay just type paragraph and in the paragraph i'm going to assign a bootstrap class so here just type uh, class okay and i'm going to assign this uh, text uh, uh, text success or you can text danger these are the bootstrap classes right so i saved this out and let's uh, get refresh why it's not to uh, auto loading this web page we will fix this in a minute and yes our text color is changed so it means that our bootstrap is also working in our project so in this video we installed our v2js with the uh, we installed the bootstrap with v2js right so this is the asset bundler which is used to compile our file so now queries come that uh, we need to always run this uh, in terminal yes you need to always run this terminal for looking the changes so if i made anything like uh, i am i am dayat niazi okay dayat niazi so let's save this one and let's take eye on this it's going to automatically refresh our web browser and uh, changing everything whatever we are saving this and yes it's running this i am uh, dayat niazi so whenever you are doing something here and press control plus s it's going to instantly refresh our web browser right so you don't need to manually refresh this thing and where it's refreshing it from so let's go to the config wait config.js file and then this refresh property is going to refresh this thing so and if you make this turn off and uh, let me go to the go here and i'm going to remove this uh, hhh and uh, save this one so it's not going to reload our web page again and yes it's turned off it's not reloading our web page so if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and if you want to implement this into the other like vue.js react.js and stuff like that so i have shooted full videos on it that how you can install this into the vue.js with the react how you can install this vue.js how you can install this in the view with the breeze with the react and stuff like that so hope you will learn a lot from this series so subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for daily videos at 11 am